In this video, we're going to be drawing Cartesian products given sets A and B. So first, notice that A is a set where x is a real number and x is between 1 and 2 or x is between 3 and 4. Set B, we have x is a real number, it's either 1 or 2. So when we're doing a Cartesian product, we're going to have two points here. So we have an x and a y. The points from the values for x come from set A and the values from y come from set B. Now a good place to start is looking at just fixed values. A has a range of values for x, whereas B has fixed values. Values. It's either 1 or 2. So the way we're going to treat this is think of this as one option for x. This is another option for x, for a rather. And then for b, we, we have one and two options, right? So it's either one or two. So there's two total. So it's like two and two will give us four total uh, cases, let's say. So start off first with set b. Okay, so set b is the our y in this case. It's either one or two. So we know there's going to be four total cases. Two of the cases better have one. Two of the cases better have two. So that's what we have here. Now, we have to combine these now. So this first case of A has to go with the first case of B and the second case of B. So I said, uh, I call this X here. So that's between one and two. So it's gonna be with one and with two for B. And I call this thing Y. So if I use Y instead of X, and I said, well, Y has to go with X equals one and X equals two. So that's these last two right here. So if I'm gonna graph this, I'm gonna go step by step. So X is between one and two. So I go in the X axis between one and two. And the Y value is one. So I draw a horizontal line Y equals one. Now I go to the next one. I'm still between one and two because that's what X is between, but the Y value is two. So I draw a horizontal line at y equals 2. Okay, now I move on to y comma 1. The y value is 1, but y here is between 3 and 4. And that's our x, because again, this is x comma y. Okay, so x between 3 and 4, the y value is 1. That's done. And then the last one here, we're still between 3 and 4, but now the y value is 2. So we draw a horizontal line at y equals 2. In our next example, we have set A, number uh, the number is 1, 2, and 3. Set B, we have X is a real number between 1 and 3. So here we have three choices, or three cases, and here we have one case. So 3 times 1 is 3. So we start off with set um, elements from set A. So that's going to be 1, 2, and 3. And since there's only one case here we have to consider. That's why I put x here. So there's three total. Three times one is three. And x is between one and three. So now we graph this. Looking at the first one, we have x equals one. So we go down to x equals one. The y value is between one and three. So we draw a vertical line from one to three. Then we move on to the second one. The x value is two. The y value is between one and three. We draw that out. Finally, we go to x equals 3, and the y value is between 1 and 3. And so we have three vertical lines. 